Go drive back in the fat, back in the house. Yeah, get everything set up. I don't know what I be thinking about sometimes. I be getting on here, I ain't got everything set up. What's good with y'all? Yeah, tonight I want to talk to the fellas tonight. I want to talk to the fellas, man. I want to talk to the fellas, you know. I know I'm going to talk to the fellas, but I've been seeing quite a bit of men on here. Uh, Coach Beverly, hey, God bless you. This is my first time seeing you. Okay, God bless you, sir. Yeah, maybe you probably been on here. I just didn't notice. Let me share this on my Facebook. I'm fairly new about a month, newbie. Okay, okay, good to have you on here. <laughs> you already know you're gonna have some fun. Okay. You're gonna have some fun. If you like to laugh, if you got the right spirit, if you got the right spirit, you like to laugh, you gonna y'all know, you know you're gonna have some fun on here. You know, you know how I do it. I don't know what I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna when I'm gonna say, I don't know. I just I just be flowing like the Lord just be using me. Lord, you ever use me? I don't know. But I want to talk to the men tonight. I want to talk to the men tonight, you know. A lot of women been asking me, talk to the men, Coach Rod. What about the men? And, you know, um, I didn't talk to dress the men a lot because I wasn't seeing no men on my, you know, on my channel. Um, but I, I think mostly men, they, I, I can see more men on my lives. Um, you know, a couple of men. I know, I, I know, I at least see about uh, like four or five men, like these five men, you know, on my live. So um, I don't care if I just talk to these, these little five men. You know, I know one young man. He like twenty five years old. Um, you know, so he, he he a young fellow, and you know, I'm an older gentleman. You know, I feel like I can teach them, school them a little bit, school the little young boys a little bit. And um, teach them about manhood, you know. It's not easy dealing with the men. You know, man got a little pride, man got a little ego. Um, Some of them act, we act pretty, some of them act, you know, it all depends, you know. Like, you know, the ones that be on my live come in, they, they, pretty, they pretty good. But you know, a lot of times, you know, a lot of men they walk from a distance. You know, they don't watch, they don't really in there, but they be watching. You know, sometimes you got men that watch, um, that watch. You know, to see what I'm teaching women, so they can use it against them. You know, you might have some narcs that watch. You know, stuff like that. They are, they watching to see what they can use against women, especially the narcs. You know, but um. You know, I'm gonna talk to the men. I'm gonna talk to the men. I'm praying about it. I'm praying about it. I might, I might, I might write a man book. I might write a man book. Um, I'm praying about it. I'm praying about it. You know, but um, you know, we'll see what the Lord say about that right now. I might, I might write a man book. Um, but yeah, you know, I want to teach the men how to pursue a woman, how to pursue a woman, and what to look out for. You know, when to pursue a woman, you know. Only got 18 in the highs. I guess all I guess all y'all like, man, Cobra, Rod, we tired of seeing you. Hey, y'all better get used to me right now. How you doing, Sister Angela? Y'all better get used to me right now, Carl. When I get married, I'm not gonna be on here no three three times in on three times on no Sunday going live. Cause I if I were married, I'd probably be giving me some banana pudding right about now. Or oh, probably watching the movie, finna get ready to get banana pudding. <laughs> I'll tell you now, when I get married, boy, you hear me? Y'all better get, y'all better enjoy me while y'all got a chance, while I'm single. <laughs> and that's the thing, you know, you gotta, you know, while you're single, you gotta be on fire for the Lord. You gotta be, and that's what I'm doing three. That's why I'm doing three lives on one Sunday, cause you know I'm on, I'm on fire for the Lord. You know I gotta stay busy for the kingdom of God to keep me, you know, 
keep me, you know, out of trouble and everything. You know, so I got to be on here, you know, stay focused. You know, just work, 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 and just tie myself out. Like, as I get free, um, getting off of here, um, I had, I had, I had them got me some oxtails. No oxtail was good, y'all. Lord Jesus. Oxtail was so good. Got me some oxtails and, and uh, rice and macaroni and cheese and cabbage, cornbread. And they got me some um, German chocolate cake. So when I get off of here, I don't eat good already. When I get off of here, I'm going to go get me some milk. Eat this right here with it. Uh, I'm going to cheat myself, y'all. I'm going to spoil myself. I got to cheat, y'all. I got to cheat. Then I'm gonna take me a shower. I'm just gonna relax and just chill. Just chill. I gotta get up early in the morning, hit the road. But you know, that's what it's all about. So, hey, not joy. Joy, joy, joy loves on Coach Rod. Joy be on here all the time. God bless you, Joy. God bless you. Joy say, Coach. The last, the last live I did, I said y'all gonna get tired of seeing me. I saw Joy comment, say, Coach Rod, I ain't never tired of seeing you. I ain't never tired of seeing you, Coach Rod. I appreciate that, Joy. Joy, Joy always walk with Coach Rod, man. Joy got my back. I really, I really appreciate that, Joy. Where the men at? Now and I want to talk to the men. They not on here. Where y'all at? Where my brothers at that be on here? Come on now. Come on, man. Now. Come on. Y'all gotta turn y'all butt up. See how the man here later. It ain't easy to talk to these fellas now. I wanna see the men in the comment. I want to talk to y'all tonight. It's going to be some good stuff. But actually, the women can benefit from this too because a lot of this stuff can be something that the women can learn too. You know. A lot of stuff the women can learn too. I wish I had my tablet charged up. Have my notes on here. If you mean it, God, I'm going to make, make more. Uh, what that question was? Uh, let me get a question. I'm just gonna answer one question before I get started. That question don't disappear. Your question be disappearing. Maybe they probably don't delete it. Get him in, put him somewhere. She said they gave him now, put him somewhere. <laughs> I think somebody don't leave your question. I was gonna get that one question though, but uh, you you gonna ask the uh, you gonna ask question later on though. She said they get a banana pudding somewhere. I hope they not. If they married not, if they married, they can get all the banana pudding they want. But oh, she moved her question. Oh, okay. Well, just wait till the end of the um um video anyway. But the guys that be on here, um, I don't think they married. Um. I don't think they married. Swaggy, the guy Swaggy, Swaggy D. Uh, um, Swaggy D. Um, uh, he not married. He be on here. He not married. But he said that he, you know he working on himself. The guy David, David said he not married. He said he working on himself. David, you know, um, he the one say he gonna pay his old lady rent. I, I call it David Babyface. Called David Babyface. I buy your clothes. I pay your rent. I bring your dinner to you. Ooh, baby. Soon as I get home from work, that baby fade up. And the other one, it's another guy. I don't know if he married or not. He be on here. I think he was on here last night. The other guy, he was on here last night. So. But, you know, yeah, let, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it this night and night. But that one who had that question, just um, hold a question to after the, uh, the video, the live, you know. I want to talk about how to pursue a woman. How to pursue a woman. You know, uh, I'm going to go out on the limb. I'm going to go out on the limb, talk to the men. Talk to the men. It ain't easy dealing with the men. But you ladies gonna learn a lot from this right here. First of all, I wanna say this right here to you men. First of all, I wanna say this right here to you men. 
you 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 got to pursue a woman with character. And that one thing about us men, uh, uh, um, the weakness of of all of us men is we we go by physical attraction alone. Now, if somebody one time this lady asked me, you know, when I went to the Verizon store. Uh, to get my phone, she was say, she said, so what's your best relationship advice for women? You know, um, and she said, and, and, and what's your relationship advice, best relationship advice for men? Advice for men. So I said, for the women, my best relationship advice for them is keep their leg closed. My best relationship advice for men is don't go by, don't go by looks alone. And that's the main downfall of us men. And it's not easy. Being a man, it's not easy being a visual creature. You know, we, we, we are wired to fall in love through physical attraction. You know. And I think that what that question was about, um, I didn't read the whole thing, but like if, if a woman had character, but she didn't have looks, what I consider on um, marrying her, um, you know, gonna be real with you. The physical attraction got to be there. It got to be some type of physical attraction. It just, it just the way men are wired. It all depends on that man. It all depends on that man. Some men will marry a woman who's not attractive. Depends on him, you know. But most men, most men want, you know, want to attract a woman. They want to attract a woman. Um, and like I always tell y'all, you know, that that that's how men are wired. But that's also the downfall of men. That's the immaturity of men. That 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 will get men in trouble. The number one reason why a lot of men get emasculated, get hurt and dogged out by a woman is because they don't look at a woman based upon her character. They go by looks alone, you know. Um, so I want to teach the man how to pursue a good woman. She got to be a woman of character. She cannot be pig Misha. She cannot be a pig Misha. Um, she had to be a god fearing woman. Only a god fearing woman brings a man character. Bring, no, excuse me. Only a god fearing woman brings a man favor with the Lord, not Pit Misha. Pit Misha does not bring a man favor with the Lord. In order for a man to get favor with the Lord, he need a woman that have character and she need to be god fearing. Like the proverb 31 woman. That's that 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 that's that's, the, that's where you gotta start right there. You got Pit Misha is not gonna bring you favor. Luke Booty is not gonna bring you favor. The woman who's gonna let you get her get you on her back real easy is not gonna bring you favor. She's gonna ruin your life and she will make it worse. She will make your, your life worse. The reason why you guys do not have favor, the reason why you're not prospering in your life because you trying to get Pit Misha. You trying to get loosey goosey to submit to you. It ain't gonna happen. In order for a woman to submit to you, you have to pick a woman that have character. She gotta have character. And I know we like fine women. I know we like fine women. I know we like fine women, but as men, and it's hard for us men to do. It's, it's hard for me too. You know, it's hard for me too. Uh, um, you know, um, but we, you know, we, we see a woman and, you know, we, we looking at her and we be like, God, that girl that fire, boy, <laughs> boy, I, I married that girl right there. That's my wife. Make that girl my wife. But that might not be the one for you. We, uh, as men, we can look at a woman and, and based upon physical attraction, oh man, that's my wife. But are she suitable for you? Are she suitable for you? You know, in, in, in Genesis, when, when God made Adam, uh, uh, he also made Eve. Uh, before he made Eve, he said it's not good for men to be alone. See, a lot of women use that for them, for their loneliness. Oh, the Bible says it ain't good for men to be alone. He wasn't talking about you. He was talking about Adam. Women come in the comment. Oh, you saying uh, and, and we can't get no, we can't desire no husband. But 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 the Bible say it's it not good for men to be alone. He wasn't talking about women when he said that. He was talking about Adam. 
<laughs> but God says it's not good for a man to be, but a lot of women use that as an excuse for their loneliness. I heard him in the comment. Cora, you say it's not good to be lonely, but God, God say it's not good for a man to be alone. He wasn't talking about you. He wasn't talking about you. He was talking about Adam. It wasn't good for Adam to be alone. God created a woman for a man. He didn't create man for a woman. I'm thinking right here. A man does not bring a woman favor. The woman brings the man favor. The man cannot get favor without the woman. The woman adds value to the man's life. But society teaches women that if you don't have a man, you don't have value. You know that? The woman adds value to the man's life. Proverbs 31, 31, um, 10, 11, somewhere around there, up and down. A virtuous wife who can find for her price is it, it, very far above ru rupees. For she greatly enriches her husband's life. The word enrich means she adds favor. She adds faith, she adds value to his life. When you enrich something, you add value to his life. You see what I'm saying, man? You need a woman. But she got to be a girlfriend woman. She got to be a proper 31 woman. Every woman don't add value to your life. I'm saying that right now. You got to get a woman that's suitable for you. So God said, let me make him a help me, which are suitable for him. She fine. She fine. But are she suitable for you? Every woman not suitable for you. And you know, I talked about this earlier today about compatibility, you know, and I, I I just like to use myself to be transparent, you know. I need a woman that's suitable for me, you know. I like that. I believe in balance, you know. When it's time to, to make a decision, when it's time to be serious, when it's time to pray, I'm, you know, I'm serious. But I also like to have fun too, you know. So I, I like I, I gotta have a woman that got a playful spirit at times. She know she like to play. Cause that's what's suitable for me. She, you, you gotta look at that way. She fine, but before I fall in love with her, I want to know: Are she, is she suitable for me? And does she have character? Because see, a pig Misha is gonna ruin your life. I'm telling you right here: You need a strong, a strong woman. You need a woman that have morals. You need a woman that have values. You need a woman that know her worth. But when y'all meet that woman that know her, her worth, y'all ghosting the woman. You ghosting the woman that's going to bring you favor and you running behind Pig Misha. You ghosting the woman that made you that, that, that's going to bring you favor because she got her leg clothed and you running behind loose, loose booty. And then when loose booty emasculate you, and then when loose booty tell you you ain't no real man because you can't help me like my ex. Then you, then, then now you want to, now, now you want to get on the on in the comment section. Cora, teach the women to submit. I had a friend. I, I got a friend, and I talked about this before. My friend called me one time. Yeah, what's up, man? Hey, man, it ain't going too good, man. What's going on? Hey, wait, so man. You need to teach the women to submit to a man. Like, what happened? Man, this girl, man, man, she emasculated me, man. This girl talked about my mama, and you know my mama passed, man. This girl put a life on me, and this girl told me I want no real man because of the bedroom, man. But race off, man, I couldn't even do nothing in the bedroom with her, man, because she was stressing me out, and I can't be a man in the bedroom. Then one me called Rock. He didn't say Coach Rock. He called me Ray Salt. He don't call me Coach Rock. Ray Salt. This woman flirt with her, with her, with her brother-in-law, man. In my face, man. I don't know why women so disrespectful, man. Why women don't submit to a man. So I said, okay. So let me ask you some questions. Let's ask some questions, bro. 
So when you first met her, the first date you had, tell me how that date went. Was she cursing on the date? Was she using a lot of profanity on the date? Yes, she was doing a lot of cursing. Yes, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, matter of fact, she told me um, on the first date that, um, you know, the reason why she left her ass because he couldn't F her in the bedroom. Hey, when he said that, I was on the other, I, I was on the other side of the phone. When, when my friend said that, I'd be like, I, I was like, there you go right now. There you go right now. That, that, that's it. That's the last date. If I'm on a date with a woman, I'm on a date with a woman. And I'm talking to this woman. And this woman telling me, and the whole time, mother F, this P, this, kiss my A, cause I ain't got time for that S. I'm a strong A woman, and I need me a strong A in. I don't need no weak men to handle me, cause I'm a strong woman. Cause I left my ex, cause he couldn't help me in the bedroom. I wanna go five hours in that bedroom. Check please. He gonna, he gonna be check please. Get my debit card, pay for the bill. Here you go. <laughs> Sign the bill. God bless you. You see what I'm saying? I'm gone. I'm gone. I told my friend, say, that way you went wrong there right there. Why you need to cut out right there? Man, that girl fine, man. She was a red bone too, man. And that's the biggest downfall of us men. I got to be real, we, 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 you know, that beautiful, attractive woman, but she got to have character. She can't be a loose booty. Loose booty is not going to make you better. The woman that's going to make you a better man is the woman that got her legs closed. The woman that's going to make you a better man is the woman that know her worth, and she will not settle. That's the woman that's going to bring you favor. Pam is not going to bring you favor. Loose booty is not going to bring you favor. The reason why you don't have favor is because you are attracted to loose booty. And you want loose booty to submit to you. You want the woman that told you she left her ex because you couldn't F her in the bedroom. You want that woman to submit to you. It takes a woman to have morals to submit to you. If a woman ain't got no morals, she's not going to submit to you. If she cursing on a date the whole time, that means she don't have no morals. It takes a woman with morals to submit to a man. But the woman who's going to submit to you, the woman who's going to submit to you, you go to her because she got her legs closed. That's the one that you going that's gonna bring you favor. See, see, Pitt Mish is gonna let you cheat on her. Pitt Mish is gonna let you walk all over her. Pitt Mish is gonna let, let you go out, come in any time of night, and she ain't gonna say nothing. But the woman that you need, you need a woman that know her worth. And you need a woman that's gonna tell you if you if you put a finger on me like you're gonna hit me, I'm leaving your butt. That's what kind of woman you need. I'm trying to tell y'all, that's the kind of woman I want. Yes, I want her to be god -fearing. Yes, I want her to be sweet. I want her to be gorgeous. I, I, I want her to have all that. But I want her to know her worth. And I want, I, and, and listen to me now. And like I told you ladies, a man can have one or two phone conversations with you and he know whether or not you don't play The woman that know her worth, that's the woman that you need. The woman who ain't let you cheat on her, that's the woman that you need. The woman gonna hold your butt accountable, that's the woman that you need. A woman can what? Either, they go my man, David. Come on, bro. I'm gassing my boys, my boys in the house. Okay, I got my boys. Come on, boys. That's the woman you need, David. You need the, a woman that gonna hold you accountable. But she's sweet though. I ain't talking about the one that was on the day cussing. I'm talking about the one on the day like the right here. Classic, beautiful. Yeah, you know, man. You know, I just, you know, I'm talking like I be talking, they be doing the hell like this. You know, you know, I just like, you know. Sweet. So. Hey, 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 um, wait to the um, wait to the um the live over there ask the question. I'm I'm, I'm flowing right now. She's soft. But get what? She ain't no pushover. She ain't no pushover. 
You see what I'm saying? Oh, she's soft now. She's sweet now. She feminine. But when she see you putting on, um, when she see you cheating on Instagram, she gonna give you a warning. She gonna say, "Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Please. Let this be your last time cheating on Instagram with me. All right, this is the last time." And she gonna look at you like that. This is how I teach my queen to look at y'all like that right here. This is the last time, all right? She gonna walk away. And this time you do it, it's gonna be some consequences. And you do it again, she gonna, she, she gonna, she get her stuff. She might not break up with you, but she gonna leave the house. If y'all married, she gonna leave the house. Separate. Separate. Now when that happened, now watch this. Now you're gonna be calling Cole Rod. Cole Rod. Cole Rod need to get my girl back, man. Cole Rod need. Do you see, see, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I got a homeboy right now that I'm talking to right now. And he he watched my video when the woman fed up. And get what? He, he saw my video, something me an email. Now he wanna call Cole Rod. Oh, now you wanna call Cole Rod. He about to lose his girl now. Cole Rod, man. I'm about to lose my girl, Cole Rod. Yeah. And then watch I tell you women, when you put your foot down and you let that man know you got one more time to cheat on me on Instagram, it's going to be some consequences. And when he do it again, you leave. If that man don't come running behind you, if that man don't book coaching, if that man don't call Coach Rod and say, Coach Rod, I want the woman back, get what? He don't love you. And I told y'all over and over and over again, whenever you don't have an influence on that man's life, you are with the wrong man. Do you understand me? When a man loves a wrong man, he is going, that's right, Josie, he's going to respect your boundaries. He's going to respect your boundaries. When, a, when that man meet the wife that he want to be with, when that man meet the one that he see that could be his wife, that man going to respect you. And when you put your foot down and walk away, He's going to be calling Coach Rod. Coach Rod. Coach Rod. I got a, I got a brother right now, paranoid, calling me. Hey, Coach Rod, but I don't want to know. Bro, you're going to get your girl back, bro. Chill, bro. You're going to get your girl back. She still love you, bro. She mad with you. She put the rain down. She put the rain down. But get what? Y'all still living in the same house. You got a child together. I told him, you, you got a child together. You in there. You know, y'all been together for a while. You got a son. So y'all, you got a soul tie with the woman. She, y'all still going out on dates. The woman ain't done with you yet. She still let you touch her a little bit. You, you want to get a kiss on the lip? I say, don't worry about kissing on the lip right now. Do she want you to kiss on her cheek? She said, he said, she don't mind. Okay, just be gentle with her. You don't mess up. You got to kiss booty. You got to kiss booty, brother. I told you, you got to sniff some booty because you messed up. I'm trying to tell y'all, when a man love you, watch it later. You sit there, let the man walk all over you like a, like a doorman, he gonna keep doing it. That Now, because that man love that woman, she can make that man great. She can, she can, she can influence that man to change. That's right, now he getting coaching. Oh, now he wanna, oh, yeah, we, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna go back to God. Oh, now he wanna go back to God now. Oh, now he wanna go back to God now. You see what happens when you put your foot down when a man that love you? Fellas, that's the kind of woman you need. That woman finna change that man's life. If she keep doing what she doing, she gonna change that man's life. Cause I can tell he love her. I can tell he, he don't want to lose her. He calling me every other day. Cole Rod, I wanna ask you a question. Cole Rod, why she doing it right here, Cole Rod? Bro, don't worry about it. Be patient with the woman. She, she, you don't damage the woman. Give her some time. Y'all still going out on dates. Y'all still watching a movie together. She's not done with you. If that woman was done with you, <laughs> you won't be, she won't even be in the same house with you. She ain't fed up yet. Just give her some time, brother. Don't rush her. Don't rush her. I told him every day you need to tell her that she's beautiful. Every day you need to tell her that you love her. Every day. And I told her right here, don't you never when you get that girl back, I said, little to me, my, 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 my brother, don't you never in your life let your family or anybody disrespect that woman and you don't say nothing. 
Because that's a major turnoff to a woman. How I know? Because I'm coaching. I say, when you get that woman back, don't you never let no family member disrespect that woman. If y'all engage, you going to marry that woman, you got to let them know, this going to be my wife. If you got a problem with my wife, you got a problem with me. When a woman see you crazy about her like that right up, she ain't going nowhere. She ain't going nowhere. I don't got all on my topic. Let me get back on the right thing here. Like, uh, but once I get going, y'all, boy, I mean, like, <laughs> but, fella, you don't need Pete Misha. You need a woman that know her worth. You need a woman that gonna leave your butt when you doing wrong. That's what you need. You need a woman that gonna walk away from your butt. I don't want no pushover. I don't want no woman let me do let me do wrong. If I if I she can't be doing something wrong on the end of the ground, I want her to tell me, I want to look at me and say, you know what? You coach Rod. You coach Rod. And I refuse to be mad to a hypocrite. Cause you on you on YouTube. And then you on you on you on you on Instagram. Mess around with you, you got one more time, Coach Rod. One more time, Coach Rod. I, and she, and to my she looking at me in her eyes, she's serious. I'll be scared. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I ain't gonna do that no more. And, and, I, and she leave. <laughs> babe, I'm sorry, babe. Babe, just give me another chance. Please, babe. Please, babe. That's the woman you want. The one who have your butt begging when you do wrong. Yeah. You, you got to get a woman with more that love herself and you got to get a woman that respect herself. That, that way you got to go wrong. Yeah. Okay, then let me get back on. Let, let me get on my little thing here. 31 minutes. I got to hear up. I'm going to be done soon. I know people got to go to work. The time don't change, y'all. I ain't know the time don't change. I'm like, what's going on? Like, why so late? Time don't change. I don't like the new time, y'all. Fella, the first thing you want to do before you, before you pursue a woman, you, you want to watch the woman. You want to watch the woman. You want to watch the woman first, you know. Now, sometimes you may not have a chance to watch the woman. It all depends on the situation, you know. If you see a woman in the wall or uh, the mall or something like that, you just got to go ahead and make a move, if, if, you know, if you like or whatever. But I'm talking about different scenarios, you know. Just say you go to church. You're at the church and you see this beautiful woman there every Sunday, you know. And the first time you see her, you're like, man, she look pretty, man. Said, no, no, I like her. She look nice. Yeah. I can, I can marry her. You know, you don't want to make a move that fast. You want to watch her a couple of Sundays. You want to watch her how she, you know, act. And, you know, you want to just, just observe things, you know. See, you got to be like a lion. Lions, they they watch. When they pursue, you know, they watch the gazelle. They don't they don't just run the, you know, a lion don't see no gazelle a mile away and start running real fast. And then by the time he get to the gazelle, he ran out of gas. He can't run. The gazelle outran him. The lion just sitting there and they watch. And the gazelle don't know they watching. He'll watch it all day. And what the lion doing, he's studying his prey. He's studying it. He's trying to figure out their weakness and their strength. So even as a man, sometimes you want to watch her. You want to you study. You want to use your discernment. You want to see that she have character. You see what I'm saying? You want to see, you know, I'll tell y'all what I do. I, I'm I'm telling y'all what I do. I, I I gotta be transparent. I like I gotta be transparent with y'all. I gotta use my 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 wisdom to T D men. So you know, I was on a, uh, you know, and I was at FedEx, and I was at FedEx, you know, I, and um like I said, I was around a lot of you know, a lot of women. But it's one particular uh, woman, you know, and I was in a relationship, but I wasn't happy, you know, like I told y'all. You know, when the man know his word, when you mesclaying that man, he started wearing his options. You know, I wasn't happy, but in my head, I'm like, if I, when I leave, not if, but when I leave her, who I'm going to be with next, okay? <laughs> who I'm going to be with next? But I was watching certain women. And this one particular woman I was watching her, watch this now. She read at the, uh, the FedEx store, you know, where you drop the packages off and stuff like that. So, I used to go in there and pick up the packages, you know, at the FedEx store, load them on the cart. So, and I was watching this one, this one lady, this one, this one woman. And um, she was a manager. She was a manager. 
And watch this. I'm, I'm working, scanning the package and putting on the cart. Boom, boom. But I'm watching, I'm listening to her. And I'm watching how she interact with the customers. You know what I'm saying? Customer came in there and, and I'm watching how she act up under pressure. Customer came in there loud and rude. She stayed calm. Yeah, but sir, I'm like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm watching, discerning my, using my discernment. You got to use the discernment sometimes. For, again, it, it all depends on the situation. You know, if you if you on a job where you work in a big apartment, uh, not apartment, but a big office, you know, building with, with a lot of queens, there, a lot of women there, you know, you, you see her every day. You know, you're going to see her every day. You know, your delivery guy, something like that, you, you know, you want to see her every day. You know, you watch her. Discern, you know, use your discernment. When she's talking, you listen to what she's saying. You see what I'm saying? When she interacts with other people on her job with the cover, is she cussing? You know, is she talking crazy? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I be watching all that. See, a lot of you women, see y'all, y'all queen. Then why you got on your baby head? You don't know what man of God gonna be watching you. He listen. I'm listening. To everything what they be saying. I'm discerning their spirit. Cause I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to figure out my next move. You see what I'm saying? And that's what you men got to do for you sometime before you pursue a woman again. It may not be in a situation like that right here, but some situation you got to use your discernment. You're like, okay, I like, I like her character. Got a nice body. She had, she had a nice shape, you know. Oh, I like her character. Nice body, nice shape. You know, mm, I think, you know, she's going to be a good wife. You see what I'm saying? Okay, now you watch her a little bit. You got to be patient. Take your time. Don't rush. Take your time, be patient. You know, if you go to church with her, walk up to her one Sunday, because you don't watch about three Sundays. Watch about three Sundays. Just sit in the back of the church. Watch. Really probably be focused on the Lord, but you know, you know, we don't always focus on the Lord when we see a pretty woman at the church. <laughs> Can I be real with y'all? A single man, he focuses on the he loves the Lord though. But when he see a beautiful woman at the church, he going to be like, <laughs> he going to be like, <laughs> oh, you see what I'm saying? He ain't going to be in the spirit the whole time, y'all. So you want to watch, you know, use your discernment. What's going on? How you doing, Shay? How you doing? You want to use your discernment and everything? Watch about three Sundays. And then out the church, go up to her. Go up to her, you know. Hey, how you doing? Now, ladies, what did Ladies, when the man say, hey, how you doing? When the man speak to you, if you like, the, if you feel like that man, you know, a good looking man, whatever, he handsome, whatever, you you see yourself being with that man. Don't speak all dull, like, how you doing? Like, you got an attitude. Look at the man and smile. You ain't got to give him a big Kool-Aid smile. Hey, how you doing? You know, no. A little smile, hey, how are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing good. All right, then, then the man, she said she's doing good. Um, you don't want to ask for a number right away. Strike a conversation up. You enjoying the service today? Oh, yeah, I enjoyed the service so much. Yeah, your pastor preached real good tonight, did he? Oh, yeah, pastor be preaching. Oh, my God, the word was so good. Just start talking about the word, brother. Yeah, I mean, I just love the word. Yeah, yeah. Talk. Then before you finish talking to her, then you want to ask him. Then you want to ask him. Hey, you know, um, are you single? I know I, you ain't got no ring on finger, but I don't know if you got a boyfriend or not, you know? Oh, no, I'm single. Do you mind if I get your number? We can talk. Ask her for a number. Ask her for a number. If you're at the job, you know what I'm saying? Hold a conversation. You know, talk to her first. Just find something to talk to her about. And just talk to her. See how she vibing. Is she... If she like if she if she don't want to talk and she she give me the cold shoulder, don't pursue her. If she don't smile and give you eye contact, don't pursue her. You want to pursue the woman. Watch this, fellas. I'm trying to teach y'all something. You want to pursue the woman that's giving you eye contact. She's holding a conversation with you. She's vibing with you. That tells you a lot about that woman. That tells you something about her character. You might not know everything about her character, but you're gonna have an idea. Like, okay, you know, this the one. Okay, I like, I like, you know what I'm saying? And then you ask the question, hey, um, 
hey, how, how you doing? Uh, not how you doing. You already said how you doing. Uh, I, I just ready to come. I got throw it off. But hey, you know, I want to ask you a question. Um, you single? Yeah, yeah, I'm single. Hey, okay, let me get your number. I got to call you and talk to you. You know, okay, yeah, no problem. You know, she give you her number, right? She give you her number. You get the number. You go home. The first thing you want to, excuse me. First thing you want to do, do want to text her first. Cause she might not know your number. Or if y'all, so you want to text her first. Text her and say, hey, how you doing? This so and so who you met at the job. I want to know, can I call you first? It's all right that I call you. Let her give you a response. It, she might just want to text for a little bit, get to know you. Well, right now, I don't feel comfortable with calling, but you could text. Let's text a little bit. Some women like that. So that's why I said you got to be patient with her. Don't get mad with her. Don't think she's stuck up and all that here. She ain't stuck up. Okay? She just want to take her time because she know her worth. She got values and she don't want to rush. So she may not want to let you call her right away. Just text her. Long as she, long as she reciprocating. You see what I'm saying? Keep on texting her. Be patient. And then, you know, one day she might say, yeah, call me. Once you get familiar with you, she might say, call me. Then you call her. Now, some women might tell you to call her the first time. Yeah, call me. It's okay. Every woman is different. Every woman is different. You see what I'm saying? Some women might want you to wait and text them a little bit because they don't want to, you know what I'm saying, move. But some women might just say, you know, hey, yeah, you call me. Go ahead and call me. You see what I'm saying? Call a woman. Don't be like this old, this old stupid fool. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Then man, the woman told the woman say in the comment, Karai, <laughs> I met the man online dating. We we messaged each other on online dating. And then I finally gave him my number. We talked on the phone for an hour. Course right, the next day. Instead of this man calling me, this man go on online dating and message me through the app. Cut around, cut him off. Was I wrong? No, you weren't wrong. He's stupid. That's stupid, man. The girl don't give you the number, dog. Call a girl. You can call a girl, man. Cuz, you got the number, cuz. If you got the number, she must be like it. She must like you. Stop all this texting. Pick up the phone and talk to the woman. Y'all with y'all doing all this texting, and then you talking about I'm not the type of dude to talk on the phone. Boy, talk on the phone. Stop acting like a little boy. Be a man and talk. Women want a man that know how to talk on the phone. Call a girl. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, I'm, hey, you know, I'm I like you glad to hear from her. Yeah, you know, I'm glad you gave me the opportunity to talk to you. You know, I want, I want to hear your voice. So you know, um, what's you know what's going on? You know everything good. Yeah, you know, cause uh, I just want to tell you, like, first time I saw you, I'm like, man, I'm like, I said to myself, you, you know, you're a beautiful woman, like, you know, you're very gorgeous. So, you know, and um, that's why I asked you for your number, cause you know, I just want to, you know, get to know you and build something with you. You see, what I'm saying? something like that right there. Just talk to her, man. You see what I'm saying? Take your time. Talk to her. Get to know her. All right, and don't and don't be don't come in here with that religious stuff, you know, and all this stupid stuff. Some of y'all be doing. Do you do you fear God and all that here? Oh yes, I fear God. Uh, God said you my wife in the first conversation, brother. Come on, now. cut that out. I'm a I'm a I'm a God friend man, and I don't I don't do women like that right now. I don't do women like that right now. I don't do all that. Do you fear God and all this stuff here? I just pick up the phone and hold a conversation. She gonna know I fear God. Don't don't be so lame. Some of y'all just lame. You turn the woman off with it. A real woman, you gonna turn the woman off. Talk to the woman like a man. You know, ask questions. You know, get to know her. See what I'm saying? And you know, get to get to know her. All right. Call the woman. Okay, stop all the texting and stuff. Come on, be a man now. Be a man. Man up. Man up. Be a man. 
be a man. So, you know, you got a number, then start pursuing her. Pursue her. Pursue. You know, a real woman wants to be pursued. That one thing that a lot of women like, when you pursuing a woman, it makes her feel good. It makes her feel valued that she have a man that's interested. It is how women are wired. You see what I'm saying? Don't, don't let her pursue you. Don't let her pursue you. The only woman going to pursue you is Pit Misha. And you don't want Pit Misha. The only woman going to pursue you is the gold digger that y'all be complaining about. That only woman going to pursue you. You see what I'm saying? Pursue the woman. Um, be consistent. You know, call her every day. Just tell her, I just want to talk on the phone. We ain't got to talk all day. We just, just give me an hour of your time, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Be, you know what I'm saying? Be consistent. Just talk to her. She going to fall in love with you. You ain't even got to touch her body. She fall in love with by, by talking. Women fall in love by expressing themselves. They love to talk. They love to talk. They love to talk. When they're talking, they fall in love. When you listen to what they're saying, they fall in love. And that's why I tell some women, like, hey, you know, when you first start talking to a man, don't be on the phone all night long, two or three o'clock in the morning. Because I know women, they're going to fall in love. You got to set boundary. You see what I'm saying? Now, when that woman telling you, hey, you know, we got to go, I got to go to work tomorrow, and, you know, I don't talk on the phone late to a man, you got to respect that. Respect that woman say, okay, no problem. Don't get mad. She's not being stuck up. She got boundaries. Okay? That's the woman that you need right there. Respect her boundaries. Trust me. That woman right there who got boundaries, who going to tell you, well, I don't talk on the phone to a, 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 on a man at a certain time of night. That's the one you need. But you get mad to my, she thinks she all that. She is all that. She the prize. She is all that. She going to bring you favor. She going to bring you favor. You can't get favor without her. She thinks she all that. She, bro, be patient with the girl. Let, let her have a, respect her boundaries. Okay, respect her boundaries. Be consistent. Eventually, eventually when she get, but she going to be on the phone with you all night, boy. Four o'clock in the morning. <sighs> About to go to sleep. No, she got to go to work in the morning. <laughs> hey, y'all ever did that before? Why you talking on the phone with a girl? One time I was on the phone with a girl. I looked outside. The, the, we, we started talking at nighttime. By 8 o'clock in the afternoon. 8 o'clock in the evening. I looked outside. The doggone sun coming up. Like, dang. <laughs> well, what, what she fall for your brother? Girl, that, she ain't gonna, she ain't gonna let you go. She ain't gonna let you go. She gonna be in love with your brother. And then when she be in love with you, sing that song. Before I let go, before I let you go away, can I get a kiss? Good night. Can I get a kiss? Good night, babe. Y'all, that's too old for y'all. I don't want to lose your love, so don't you say good. That's too old for y'all. Y'all like this little y'all stuff. Y'all don't know about that old school stuff. Y'all know I gotta make y'all laugh, but fella, fella, be a gentleman. Be a gentleman. What do it mean to be a gentleman? Gentle men. Be gentle towards her. Just that simple. I ain't even gotta look at Google. I ain't even gotta, I ain't gotta Google that. It's it just that simple. Gentle men. Be a gentle man. Black screen, there you go. <laughs> Be a gentleman, man. Be nice. What it means to be a gentleman is treat her like she's the weaker vessel. This is what gonna make that woman fall in love with you, brother. Treat her like the weaker vessel. What do you mean, Coach Rod? Treat her like she's fragile. Hey, listen. If you if you if you long distance, y'all live in different states. Don't you hear that, that 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 girl getting on a plane running behind you, man? You go see that woman, man. That's what it mean to be a gentleman. You got that woman on a plane. You 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 live in Atlanta, and, and she live in uh, Chicago. You and you you, you 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 come and see me. You you come on, man. You gotta pursue the woman. 
A real woman wants you to pursue her. Cause I tell you now, my queens that 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 watch me and that 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 not only watch me but they apply to what I'm saying. You going you gonna lose her cause she ain't getting on no plane cause they already know I don't play that man. She not getting on no plane running behind you. If she's a real queen, you gonna have to come and run behind her cause you the man. You the man. She ain't going on no plane. She gonna tell you, <laughs> listen. I, I don't. I don't. I, Sorry, I don't I don't do that. I don't I don't go to no man's state. I don't know you like that right though. I'm not I don't do that. Well, you know, I ain't got time for you. She gonna tell you, well, you ain't got time for me. Okay, well, I guess I ain't got time for you then. All right, nice knowing you. That's what she gonna the one who watched me, the one who watched me, and the one who not only watched me, but they serious about what I'm telling them. They're not gonna run behind you, bro. They ain't running behind you. Get your butt on that plane, you go see that woman, man. You don't have no woman traveling on a plane, leaving her state, going by, by herself, seeing you, and, and she, you know, you, you gotta make her feel safe. Make her feel safe. You see what I'm saying? So be a gentleman. Treat her like she's a wicker vessel. You know, I ain't gotta say pay for the date. Now, y'all know better than that, doesn't Come on now. Do we gotta say pay for the date? Do I got some people today? Huh? Listen to me. Why you pursuing a woman, fella? Don't try to impress her with your money. Impress her with your character. Impress her with y'all do something the silliest stuff. I'd be like, Corrad, Corrad, why men? Why why men when they first meet you, they start Dangling their money in in your face. Tell me he got this amount of money in the bank. And the man showed me his bank account code rod. The man showed me how much money he made. Why they do that? Stupid. That's why he do it. He just stupid. You know why I say that's stupid, y'all? Because fellas, you complain about gold diggers. Oh, women are gold diggers. That's the only woman you're gonna attract. They're right. That's right. So it's ego. That's the only woman you're going to track. It's a gold digger. When you when you dangling your money, oh, I make this kind of money, I got the money in the bank. The only woman you're going to track is a gold digger. A queen, a queen, a real woman, she got her own money. She got her own bag. She she She's not a prayer with that. She, she ain't a prayer with your character. Don't get me wrong now. You can't be broke now. You gotta have you got you gotta have some bag too now. Don't get me wrong. But you 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 gotta impress her with your character. You know, you gotta let her know, can you lead? That don't mean that to no real queen. Can you lead? Can you make decisions? I don't think it's right here. And I know uh, you know, I may I may got some men on here just watching, just trying to, you know. See what they can do use on him. I may have some narcs on him. If you're a narc, you need Jesus. You need Jesus. If you're a narc, you need Jesus. If you're a narc, you need the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> You're not, you need the blood. You need the blood of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood. Come on now. I know some of you knocks on here. Some of you knocks on here. But you ain't going to get my queens. You ain't going to get my queens. I'm telling you right now, I, I come and get that in the name of Jesus. You ain't going to get my queens on here. Not my queen. Not my queens. You ain't going to get my queen. Keep your hands off. Cold rod, queen, try. Do you hear me? <laughs> Fellas, wait, wait for the body, wait for the banana pudding, man. I know a lot of y'all may not want to be asking us. I get that. Wait for the banana pudding, fellas. Respect, respect these women, man. It's so many women around here saying that they never met a man to value them and treat them like a queen. Every man they've been with, dog them out, fella. We gotta do better to our women, man. Gotta do better to our queens, man. We got, we got, we, we, we got to start doing this to you, women, man. 
God ain't put women here for us to just walk all over. He put women here for us to love, to respect and value and to protect. A woman ought to feel safe in your presence. He put women here for you to protect them, man, not for you to hurt them, manipulate and control them. Stop being a punk. Be a real man. Punks and real simps are the ones who disrespect women. And stop listening to that old clown, Kevin Samuels. Y'all follow, y'all men who follow Kevin Samuels, you following a sissy. He's a body boy. Y'all who follow Kevin Samuels, you following a body boy. You can't see that man a body boy? If you a heterosexual man, why are you following a man that's a body boy? He funny. Do you understand me? He funny. He like me. And you follow him? He like me. That's that what a body boy. That's what a body boy is. They like me. That's what Jamaican call it, you know. <laughs> That's what Jamaican call it. Yeah. Stop following that clown. Stop listening to that fool. To my high value man. He ain't no high value man. He the one that's a real simp. Any man that disrespect women, any man that don't protect women, any man that don't treat women like queen, those are the real simps. And whenever you don't respect a woman, whenever you let a woman and you don't you don't value a woman, you being a simp. You the one being a simp. Fellas, we gotta do better with it with our women, man. I'm just tired of hearing women say this here. A woman said this the other night on Facebook. I almost cried. I had tears in my eyes when that woman was telling telling people on live how her whole dating and even her marriage has been. Her married one marriage. She said she was married one time. And her engagement been. And guess what? The one that was in the church, the preacher, he was the word one. He was the word one, the one that was in the church, the preacher. That was the word man. She said, that's the word man I ever been with. She said, she didn't want to, she said, I don't want to marry no preacher no more. <laughs> I don't blame him. I don't blame him. And when that young lady was giving that testimony, man, I had tears in my eyes. I was like, man, we got to do better. We got to do better. We can't just keep doing the hard women like that right here, man. It's a doggone shame for a woman to say she never met a real man in her life. It's a shame. As men, we got to do the better. We the head. We the head. God created you to protect women, man. We the head. That's it. I'm done. Any question? Any question? I hope David didn't leave me. David, what's your, what's your question at, David? He probably he probably gone. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> where you at, David? Now, now you want to ask? Now you, now you, now you, where you at, David? Come on, ask your question. Anybody got some questions? Anybody got some questions? See, they ask all the questions. I always say hold your questions to the end. They ask all the questions during the live. Then when the end come on, don't want to ask no question. They don't want to ask no question. Now it's time to ask a question. They don't want to ask no question. Is that a cool cup? What kind of question is that? To my the cup. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> Why are most men are so disrespectful? It's a lot of things dealing with that, you know. I, I can be, that's a long answer, but it, it's a lot to deal with that. It just, a lot of how, how a lot of men was raised, you know. Some men was, probably got mother wounds. Um, Sometimes, you know, a man probably was spoiled by his mom. You know, society. 
You got clowns like Kevin Samuel. They they're watching him. You know, the influence of the world. There's different reasons why men is so disrespectful. It's a lot. But that that's part of it, you know. Yeah, because they've been hurt. Parent the rooms, you know, yeah. You know, a lot of it is they've been hurt. How can we keep the faith when we don't see any prospects in sight? Only thing I can tell you is be patient. I don't like to tell you, just be patient. I get that question all the time. Just be patient and just don't put too much energy in it. Just, just you know, if God let it happen, it happen. If God don't, hey, you know, be patient. That's all I can tell you. So just be patient. Yeah, don't even look for it. Let it come. Let, let it come when it come. You looking for it, you scrape yourself out. Long this is dating for six months and still has not asked to be girlfriend. Fly down to see me once a month. Thoughts. Go about your business. Go about your business. Six months and the man ain't the man the man ain't um as you be his girl. He fell out to see you and I hope you ain't getting him a banana pudding. If you gave him a banana pudding, then that's your answer right there. He just want he just want a banana pudding. He don't want no relationship. So if you gave him a banana pudding, he just using you for your body. If you didn't, he don't want you. You don't want you. You know, it don't take that man that long to you know be your old lady, be your woman. Is it normal for a man to want to be pursued by a woman? In this generation, a lot of men want to be pursued. It's not normal, but You know, a lot of men want to be pursued in this generation. You know, they, they a lot of the men are feminized. They respect you. Use in the and they just for fifty plus women who never been married but still want to uh, marry. Yeah, I can just say, you know, uh, hang in there, hang in there. It's still hope, still hope, still hope. You know. Um, you 50 plus, you know, you probably want somebody that's more, you know, your age, uh, older, that get somewhat established, like, you, you know, you, you know, laid back, stuff like that. But like I said yesterday, a woman got mad when she was 60. You know, it, it, you know, it, it's still hope. I'm not saying you're going to be that way, but, you know, just don't give up. Why do a man stare at you and don't approach you? Yeah, different reason. They just they don't know how to, they don't know how to pursue. They don't know how to pursue. They, they, they all, like I said the other day, the online dating is one reason. They're gonna stare at you. Then they're gonna go in the computer. They don't know how to pursue. A lot of these men don't know how to pursue no more. They spoil. Women are being taught. We program on how to date, love, but well, who's mentoring the man? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. That's what I'm trying to do right now. You know, um, see who asking questions, y'all, not me. See, y'all be like, oh, what about the men? What about the men? Do you see one man like here asking a question? This is why. The only time a man gonna reach out to a coach when he love a woman and that girlfriend to leave here, but oh, he. Cora, Cora, my girlfriend Lee, I get my girl back. I get my girl back. <laughs> Did your friend get laid back? Um, uh, not yet. He working on it, but it's, it's looking good though. He ain't got it back yet, but it, he working on it. How can you spot a narcissist? Very easy. Very easy. That is that just so easy. But see, the reason why y'all can't spot a Nazis is because you're desperate. If, if you're not desperate and you love yourself, you, you, you're never going to attract no Nazis. All that love bombing stuff, uh, the first conversation, oh, you're my girlfriend, oh, I love you, oh, you're the best thing since like bread, all that overcoming me and you love bombing you, you'll be like, boy, gone, bye, hand the phone up on them. Y'all fall for that narc stuff because you desperate and you don't love yourself. That's why you fall narcissists. 
Them people are stupid. They don't. They they just so slow. They, it should be impossible for them to come in your life and to get you and to ruin your life. But because you you hate you you you, you I ain't gonna say you hate. Well, sometimes it is self hate. But because you 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 lonely and you desperate, and when they love bomb you, you fall for that stupid stuff. The man don't even know you. He buying you a fifteen hundred dollar gift. The first week, and you sitting there, the oh, 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 oh my God, he loved me. The man go get a, a 14 karat gold ring, spent five thousand, ten thousand dollars on you, talking about he wanted you to be here white, and y'all been knowing each other two weeks. You can't tell me you don't know that man's a narcissist. <laughs> y'all let him nurse me. Y'all come on now. Nah. This, this stuff is common sense. But desperate women, low self esteem women, that's that's how y'all get trapped by these narcs. Love yourself, know your worth and your value, and be happy being by yourself. Be happy being single, and the narc's gonna leave you alone. Have standards and set boundaries. When the narc see your boundaries and keep your legs closed and stay off your back, and like Tony said, keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Keep your leg closed and keep your mouth closed and stay off your back and have boundaries. They're not going to leave you alone. They're going to go. Stop being so nice. Y'all just too nice. Tell the narc to go somewhere. Tell the narc to go. Boy, go on. Bye. Tell me you want to be with me. You, you just met me yesterday. Tell me you in love with me and all this stuff. You blowing up my phone. You blowing up my phone. Block and delete the narc. But some women, you you just can't block nobody. You don't want I don't want to block nobody, Coach Rod. Oh, oh my God. I, I don't want to be mean, Coach Rod. That's who narcs prey on. Women like women who I coach, Coach Rod, I don't want to be mean, Coach Rod. Uh, Coach Rod, how do I how, how do I how, how do I set my boundaries? How do I set my boundaries? Here, here gonna be again. Coach Rod, I, I just but, Cause why? How can, how can I do that? Not being me, cause why? He, he, he got me again, sis. Open your mouth and tell the narc no. Open your mouth and tell the narc you better stop blowing my phone up. Stop being a pushover. Narcs they love pushovers. Narcs love weak women. Narcs love women who won't let a man. Late, she gonna lay down and just walk all over me, and I'm gonna never gonna leave you. Y'all gotta stop being like that. That's why narcs do what they do. Narcs are stupid. They ain't got no sense, and they don't have no business running your life. They run your life because you don't love yourself because you just want a man. I gotta have a man, Coach Rod. Huh? Y'all give the people so much power, God. Them people ain't nothing. The people ain't nothing. They ain't got no power. Do you understand me? They don't have no power. They ain't got no power that, that's more powerful than Jesus. Don't stop me to start preaching that. Do you understand me? They don't have no power that's more powerful than Jesus. If you love God and put God first and put God in your life, and when they're not coming in your life, they're going to see the, 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 the anointing in your life and they're going to leave you alone. If you get in the presence of the Lord and love yourself and worship God, I ain't going to start preaching on y'all tonight. That's why nice do what they do. Because y'all like a deer in the headlights like you're trying to date and you want, you looking for a man to love you. Stop looking for a man to love you and love yourself. If nobody don't love you, know that God love you and you got to love yourself. But y'all want a man to love y'all to feel approved by a man. And that's why narcs come in your life and just run all over you like a doorman. And you sit right there five years, ten years, eight years, and the narcs just run all over you. And then you get coaching and the coach telling you, to leave the narcissist alone, cut all tired with the narc, and, and you sit right there, Coach Rod, I want to pray for you. Coach Rod, I want to get a husband, Coach Rod. If you want to get a husband, break up with the narc. Break up with the narc. Tell the narc to go somewhere. <laughs> 
I don't want to say something else, but the Holy Spirit called me. <laughs> the Holy Spirit called me. I'm gonna say something else. But the Holy Spirit called me. I, I had out for this slip, y'all. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? When is my man coming? You see what I'm saying? When is your man coming? Stop worrying about that right there. He gonna come whenever he get ready. I don't know when he gonna come. I ain't no prophet. I ain't gonna prophet out of you. Them narc people, they, they, the only people that narc get is women who don't love themselves. Women who looking for a man to love them. That's the only one narcs, that, that narcs get. If you get self-love, the narcs gonna leave you alone. They gonna leave you alone. Y'all give you narcissists too much power. It's not the narc that doing, it's not the narc, it's you. You. And some, it, 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 you know, some, some things just get me like fired up. When y'all start banging about these narcs, oh, the narc doing that here, oh, the narc, how you, how you do this about the narc? Child, them people ain't nobody. They ain't nobody. Y'all the problem. The narc ain't the problem. You the problem. You know why? Because you don't love yourself. Love yourself, the narc gonna leave you alone, period. They gonna leave you alone. They gonna leave you alone. How in the world are you gonna let somebody call you stupid and you stay with the man? How in the world are you gonna let somebody call you dumb and you stay with the man? How in the world are you gonna let somebody call you fat and you know you ain't fat? Reading nothing but 120 some pounds and the man calling you fat and you gonna sit right there and let that same man get on top of you? That's why narcs do what they do. You gonna let a man disrespect you and let that man get on top of you? You the problem, not the narc. You the problem. Love yourself. Narcs ain't all that. They know that. Is it okay to remain friends with a taken man until she moved? AC Devil L. No. Nope, 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 nope. No friend with no man. Don't is it is it okay to remain friend with a man until she move on until until she move on to find his his or uh, her? Can they be friends after acknowledge both made mistakes? Nope. Y'all gotta stop all this friend stuff. Friend for what? If they ain't your husband, leave the man alone. Be friend with your husband. Be friend with your husband. Yo, just love trying to be friend with a man. That man gonna get you on your back. Ain't no such thing as no female friend with no man. Men love banana pudding. I, I don't believe in women being friend with no man. If y'all ain't gonna court for marriage, if that man not your husband, no friends. No friends. Tell that man to go down the road and kick rocks. <laughs> that's how I be friend with these men for what? What, what y'all gonna gain out of y'all being friend for? If that's your husband, you ain't gotta be friend with nobody. If that's your husband, that man gonna want you. All the stuff that y'all be going through, being friends and waiting and all that, wait till the other girl leave and all that, child, that's not your husband. That your husband. Yo, that man don't want you. He don't want you. You gonna sit right here and waste your life with that man. Do you think God will confirm his right one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God will confirm the right one. Here we go. <laughs> Good evening. Different kinds of summer fads and stuff. Yeah. Pay attention to the title, Red Flag. I am happy, happy. That's the problem. You know, he don't love you because he loves his, Yeah. But that narc stuff just get me fired up. Cause y'all give them folks too much energy, man. Them narcs ain't nothing. They ain't nothing. They only they only get people who don't love themselves. Who got low, who, who who looking for a man to uh, love them. That's all they look for. They all they pray on. When them the narc know that you ain't about that you ain't about their business. When the narc, cause they're gonna blow your phone up. Why you let a man blow your phone up? They're going to call you back to back. They're going to rush into a relationship with you. They're going to give you unexpected big. That stuff is like stupid. Let a person do like that. But I blocked them so fast, made their head spin. Night will make you feel they are too good to be true because they put on a faucet. Then that is not. Yeah. Block them early. That's right. Block them. But y'all, a lot of women don't want to block nobody, y'all. Don't want to block nobody. 
my older cousin got married at 74 years old and that gave me hope. Wow, 74 years old. Night perfectly look for the ride or die low self. It, exactly. Look what you say. Night perfectly look for the ride or die low self esteem person. Exactly. And some of y'all might not like it. The narc is not the problem. You the problem. You got to change. Not the narc. Because they ain't going to change. A narc can't change. You got to change. You got to start depending on somebody to love you and love yourself and be happy by yourself. And when the man start blowing your phone up, you're going to block and delete. But when you're not happy by yourself, you'll sit right there and let the man blow your phone up. Let the man rush into a relationship. Let the man go buy you a $15 ring and all that. Come on, man. I be like, boy, you don't take that man back to the store. Boy, get your butt out of here. I got my own money. I don't, I don't, you ain't pay me with your with your with, with your fifteen thousand dollar bag and all that. Boy, go on. I, I can I can buy my own bag right now. Take your bag and, and take it and, and put it where the sun don't shine, Nark. Get out of here. They gonna leave you alone. But you gotta do it in the beginning, though. You gotta do it in the beginning. You gotta let these narcs know you ain't the one to be played with. But y'all, that's the reason why narcs do what they do to y'all because of you. You got to stop depending on a man to love y'all. I be telling you this all, all the time. You got to love yourself. Don't depend on a man to love you. A man will have to work hard, spoil me more than I do. God provides all of my needs. Yeah, you're right. Amen. Oh, no, I'm not mad. Oh, Shane, I'm not mad. I'm just hype. It's just passion. I ain't mad. Coach Ryan and his puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Thank you. No, I ain't mad. Sure, me, I'm not mad at all. I'm, I'm just, you know, it just certain thing, it just certain thing get me hyped up. It just certain thing get me hyped up. And I just want to tell y'all, and y'all know me, I keep it 100 with you. Yeah, I'm a yeah, I'm a yeah. I'm going I'm to say something you might not like. But, Y'all let these narcs come in y'all life. You the problem, not the narc. You the problem. You got to love yourself. You may not like it. You might get mad. That's right. Tough love. You might get mad. You the problem, not the narc. The people stupid. They're going to come in your life, blowing your phone up, love bombing you. And you can't tell me you don't understand something wrong with that person. This man calling you about 10 times, 50 times back to back, texting you all day. And y'all not in no relationship. And you mean to tell me that you're not smart enough to know that this is not normal for a man to keep calling me? You're not smart enough to know it's not normal for this man want to be with me? We just met yesterday. He talking about he, he in love with me and all that here. This man going to buy a $15,000 ring and all this stuff here. It, it ain't been a week. You mean to tell me you're not that smart to understand that that's not normal? Again, I'm not mad. But right now, I'm just emotional. Cause I'm tired of y'all talking about these narcs. They're the most stupidest people. They, 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 they clowns. They clowns. That's why I blow my phone up. Keep calling me. I block their butt so fast. That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all don't have to block nobody. How can we idea of knocking small steps? I'm talking about it right now. When they blowing your phone up, when they blowing your phone up, when they rush into a relationship, they, I'm in love with you. So he's talking about he in love with you. He just met you yesterday. Block and delete. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, you're so beautiful. I want to be together forever. Block. Yeah, yeah. You're the best thing that happened to me. I love you so much. I met my wife. You the one. I want us to be together. I love you. Nothing in the world gonna stop me from getting you. I want you to be my. Y'all just met yesterday now. It might be the same day. You the most beautiful day that I ever seen. They gonna overdo it. I mean, you're so pretty. Oh my God. I mean, you just. Look at the phone and say, hang up the phone, block and delete. That's all you gotta do. 
He keep blowing your phone up. This is how you identify a narc. He keep blowing your phone up back to back. Text me. Why you answer the phone? Why you answer the phone? Look at the phone. Block and delete. That's the hardest thing that women can't do. You cannot block people. Can't block people. I don't want to be mean. I don't want to hurt nobody feeling. Yeah. And then, then you wonder why you keep on getting hurt by narcs. I don't want to hurt nobody feeling, Cole Rod. I appreciate the passion regarding the narcs. You are right, Cole. Yeah. So I'm passionate about it right here. And see, y'all who might be new to my channel, Cole Rod, I love what I do. That's why I get on here and yell sometimes. That's why I get on here. I ain't mad. Cole, Cole Rod getting tired of seeing... Women let narcs come in their life, get their bodies, and just dog them out. Sometimes y'all just make Cora want to cry. Sometimes y'all make Cora want to give up. I just be like, man, I just throw in the towel. This stuff is not rocket scientists. It's not rocket scientists. Them narcs, them people ain't nothing. Shout up, the people ain't nothing. The narcs are the most stupid people you can ever meet. That old stupid, foul spirit that these folk got in them. See, but see when you when, see when you get close to God, this that's some of y'all problem too. And I talked about that today. When you don't have the Holy Spirit, they come in your life and do this stuff to you. You ain't got no discernment. You ain't got no discernment. No discernment. Florida help us, lol. <laughs> you ain't got no discernment. Two days after I met him, he called my phone so many times. You see what I'm saying? See what Luca said. Two days after I, I met him, he called my phone so many times. And you mean to tell me, common sense can't tell you something wrong with that man? So if you're a woman and you fall for a narc, that's your fault. Either you ignorant or you don't love yourself. Now you don't know better, okay, you get a pass. But once you know better and you keep on falling for the same type of man, the same narcissist man, then what they do, they're going to blow your phone up. The second day, they're blowing your phone up. So when they blow your phone up, don't even talk to them. Ghost them. Block and delete. Be mean to the devil. Do not be friends with the devil. A person that have a narcissistic spirit is a demonic possessed person. The narc spirit is a Jezebel spirit. It's manipulative. That's all you got to do. They're going to blow your phone up, block, and delete, and be mean. Yes, be mean. It's okay to be mean sometimes. To protect your heart, to protect you from being hurt, be mean. Block and delete those folks and never talk to them again. I got this little, oh, I'm finna get mad. I'm finna yell again. I got this 16-year-old still running behind a narc. Still want to be friend with the narc. The narc came in her, her life very nice in the beginning. Very sweet. Two weeks, three weeks later, make her feel dumb. Lower her self esteem. You stupid. You dumb. The narc get a girl. Put him on. Put him on Snapchat. Right in front of her face. Oh, she crying and all. Oh my God. Da, 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 da. And get what? I told her to block the narc, delete the narc, never talk to the narc again. But she's still going on the narc page. Still going on his page, trying to see what he doing, what he posted. That's the problem that y'all have. That's the problem that y'all have. Some of y'all love, some of y'all love the narcs. You love that toxic stuff. You just love, you just can't let go. You can't let go. This is my passion. I'm not mad. This is my passion. And I tell y'all, do not tolerate disrespect. Once a man call you dumb and stupid one time, block and delete and never talk to him again. Don't say a word to him. No birthday, no happy birthday, no happy new year, no Merry Christmas, block and delete all social media sites. That's one thing some women can't do. You cannot block and delete people. You know why? Because you don't love yourself. You don't love yourself. You know what I call it? You looking for a man to approve you. And that's why that young girl running behind that narc. 
And no matter how many times you watch my video, no matter how many times I tell you you're a queen, no matter how many times I tell you you got value, how many times I tell you you're a treasure, you deserve better, you still want to watch all the videos and run behind a narc. I want to be friend with him, Cobra Rod. Can I just be friend? Go ahead and be friend with him. Just be friend with him. You're going to learn the hallway. Go ahead. Be friend. That's what I told him. Go ahead and be a friend. Go ahead and be a friend. You're going to learn the hard way. When that man gets sent with you, you're going to be on medication. You're going to have PTSD. Go ahead and be a friend. You're going to be a young girl and you're going you're gonna to need to see therapy. Mess around with them narcissistic people. Block them folks and never talk to them again. Be mean to the narc. I don't want to be mean, Coach Rod. I don't want to hurt his feelings. Oh, my God, Coach Rod. Oh, they love y'all. They love y'all. That type of stuff that y'all be doing. Oh, they love that type of behavior there. Ooh, they gonna eat y'all up. I told that little young girl, I said, I said, I said, that man gonna that man gonna eat you alive. You so weak, you gotta get a backbone. You gotta get a backbone. Y'all don't, some of y'all, you ain't got no backbone. You don't have a backbone. You just weak. You ain't even got no back. You just, you just gotta, you just got, you so weak. Some of y'all just got a, a head on top of your booty. You ain't even got no back, not even the backbone. You ain't even got a back. Oh my God, I don't want to be mean, Coach Rod. I want to hurt his feelings. The man will call you stupid so many times. How many times the man don't cheated on you? How many times the man will call you dumb? And you still want to be the man friend? I just want to be his friend. The man left you for another woman. See, y'all need somebody to yell at some of y'all. Because y'all ain't going to get it. Because I talk to y'all over and over again. And you still don't get it. That's why I'm yelling at your butt. You need somebody to yell at y'all. Cause y'all, y'all, y'all just ain't gonna get it. You're gonna watch all these videos and you're gonna sit right there and you're gonna let a knock come in your life and just walk up. You, you, you watch the RC Blakes. RC Blakes don't talk y'all about these narcs over and over again. He got all these videos about narcs. And you still let a knock come in your life and just run you over like a doormat. I don't hear nothing about no more narcs no more. Because y'all know about these narcs already. You're watching me, you're watching Blake's, and these narcs still come in your life, just dog your eye, drag you in the mud. You still, oh, no, oh, I love him, Coach Rod. Yeah, that's you. It's your fault. Love yourself. <laughs> love yourself, Coach Rod. Casting your pearls before the swides. <laughs> and if you read the Bible, the Bible tells you to stay away from those folks. He don't care about you, your feelings, brother. Better less you. Why should you care about him? Exactly. It's just something about not all. It's something about a lot of women in, in 2021. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Like, and, and y'all know this stuff. Like, like, come on. Come on now. Y'all got to wake up and smell a coffee. It's time for y'all to wake up and stop relying on a man to love you. Love yourself. Love yourself. That's the power with these narcs. Y'all don't love yourself. Let somebody blow my phone up. I, I got I had a man one time reaching out to me trying to work with me and business, just blowing me up. Block. Block. What, what, what? That's common sense. Why would a person be desperate to work with you in business? They just blowing your phone up. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. I just want to work with you, man. I want us to work together. He, he want to do ministry with me. I want, I want to do ministry with you. They're blowing my phone up. This stuff is not right to science, man. Block on people, man. I'll block your butt and never talk to you again. Don't even feel bad. You hear me? I ain't even be, oh my God, I hurt his feelings. Mm-hmm. Seek Jesus, the proper mate will come. Exactly. Daddy issues. Daddy issues get close to God and get there. Yeah. Sometimes they all tell they tell you in business to be aggressive. Yeah, but they they, they tell me y'all be aggressive with me. You want to? You gonna get blocked. When I do business with you, give me time to think. You being aggressive with me, block. <laughs> I don't like all that aggressive stuff. Don't rush me. Don't don't put me on on no pressure. You put me on the pressure, block and delete. Why did I block him? You see what I'm saying? Why did I block him? A man blowing your phone up. A man desperate to do business with me. Why did I block him? That's who narcs like right now.
<laughs> so that let me know when when the man blow her phone up, she's not gonna block him. She's not gonna block him. She just I I says I love you, but you gotta get with the program. Whenever somebody blowing your phone up, block and delete. Business, friendship, relationships. Whenever somebody is desperate to be in your life, that is a red flag. You got to wake up and smell a coffee. Block and delete. Don't let nobody rush you into no relationship, friendship, business, business deal, nothing. Take your time. If they don't want to let you take your time, hey, I don't care what they've been taught to be aggressive in business. You be aggressive with me, you're going to get blocked. If I'm telling you, hey, let me get some time to think about this right here. Give me time. You blow my phone up, you're going to get blocked. I don't, I, don't, I don't play no game with nobody. Yes, I'm a Christian and I'm mean. I'm mean against the narcissist. Yes, I'm a mean Christian against narcissists. I will block narcissists. Yes, it's a time and season for everything. And sometimes you got to be mean. It's a time to be mean to people. People who don't like you, people who don't love you, people who trying to hurt you, be mean and block. You're too nice. They were wrong with some of y'all now. You're too nice. Why block men when 232 people in here with only 70 likes just telling people to, to like the stream? Every gift of God. Right. That's right. Protect your peace. What about toxic parents? You got to love them from a distance. That's all. They're your parent. Just love them from a distance. Feed them with a long handed spoon. You can't just block, leave them. They're your parent. You just got to love them from a distance. Ask God to give you patience to deal with them. Be mean to the devil. That's right. Be mean to the devil. God didn't tell y'all to be nice with the devil. Be all nice with the devil. And pay patricate with the devil. Patricate, patricate. The narc is the devil. They demon. They are demon possessed people. And you want to see him be friend with a narc. I want to be your friend. I want to pay patricate with him, Cole Rod. Patricate, patricate, baker man. And, mm, mm, choppy. Be mean to the devil. Be mean to the narc. Block. <laughs> Can you please do a video <laughs> about dealing with toxic parenting? Yeah, uh, if I'm led to do it, I'll do it. I got to pray about it. You know, sometimes, you know, I might can do something, but if God don't give it to me, it ain't going to come out right. So I'll pray about that. You know, it got to be, God got to give it to me. I've had family like that. Peter, not petty kid. Yeah, you can't be playing game with the devil, man. Block him. That what y'all some of y'all problem here. Why block people? Why? What you mean why block people? They, they got blocking for a reason. I love to block people. <laughs> I block you so fast, make your head spin. <laughs> I be blocking people every day. Block. If I think you saying something bad. It, listen, any negative energy out your mouth about me, you getting blocked. If, if I if I think you saying something bad, if I'm if I'm reading the comment and I'm trying to figure out like if I gotta figure out what you saying, block, block. Like like somebody just put in the comment, protect your peace. I'm going to protect my peace. Anybody that's negative towards me, you are gonna get blocked. Period. I ain't playing no game with nobody. Blocking you. Blocking you. My, my block list so strong. I got so many people blocked on here. It's a shame. I'm steady blocking. Boom, block, block, block. That's how I got to be, man. Use that block button. It's there for a reason. It's there for a reason. You can't be a little pushover and be a little wuss. Use that block button. That's right. Block party. She sounds scripted. I love it. But anyway, let me get on over here, y'all. I'm going to eat my dog on. My dog on German chocolate cake. Nothing to chill, y'all. Getting a little late. Hey, it's tight, but it's right. Cool, Rod. Love y'all. But y'all, you know, I'm passionate. 
And when y'all be crying about these narcs, it just really, it just get me motivated. Because I'm telling y'all, the narcs ain't nothing what y'all think they are. The, the narcs only, the only, people only fall, the people who fall for the narcs are people who don't love themselves with low self-esteem. And those are the ones who fall for the narcs and don't use their common sense. Because when your phone getting blowed up, that's common sense. It don't take rock science to figure something wrong with that person. <laughs> Come on. But when you don't love yourself, you shut off your common senses. When you want a man to love you, you shut off your common senses and your discernment. And you sit right there and let the man blow your phone up. For you know you with a narc. I just see a brother on here. Oh, no, there ain't no brother. Dang. Okay, my bad. <laughs> hey, God bless you. Let me get out if I get in trouble. Hey, God bless y'all. Hey, have a good one. We'll talk soon.